My name is Joe Abuata. Some of you may know me as uh, Apocalypse. I used to be a professional mixed martial artist. Well, I did that. I've also had uh, business development jobs, essentially working behind a computer all day and then working out and fighting people at nighttime. Uh, and while I've you know, gone through that fun adventure, I've been dealing with back sciatica since I was 17 years old. So the first injury I ever had, uh, I played wide receiver in football and a, a player on the opposing team tackled me. So he speared me with his helmet right in my sacrum. And I felt a pop in my back and I didn't think much of it. Fortunately for me, I have a high pain tolerance. Uh, but back then in high school, they weren't gonna give you an MRI just because you, you felt sore. So they had diagnosed it as a like hip flexor injury. So I continued with football and I continued with track and field, which I did triple jump. So on top of the back injury, I also had ankle injuries and other problems squatting 500 pounds back when I was 17 years old. So just progressively putting more wear and tear on that disc. But from the overtraining, my back was actually crooked. So I, I couldn't figure out what was wrong. Went to the doctor, they sent me to the chiropractor and that just made things worse. They sent me for an MRI and they said, your L5S1 is herniated, you got a bulging disc. And then your L4-5 is degenerative as well. So that's when I had my first epidural. And within 10 minutes, the pain was gone. I felt normal again, but decided, you know, sports were done. So I started learning martial arts uh, within a year from that point. And my martial arts instructor at the time said, hey, you know, you spar with the guys here in a small class. So once I tasted that, then it was the next thing. Okay, I'm into this. This is what I was made for. So then I started training with him full time while I was still working full time. So my recovery always sucked. You know, if you ask, you know, one thing, I'm 41 years old, I look better at 41 than I did at 21. But a lot of it has to do with, you know, eating right, resting, of course, the training, but also taking care of yourself. So I dealt with that for a long time. And then I want to say it was probably uh, maybe five or six years ago, I started hearing about stem cells. I listened to Joe Rogan's show and I heard him talking about CPI. So I came down to here and, and during my consult, you know, that was a very point blank question. I said, you know, your pricing is very similar. Why should I choose you guys versus the competitors? And part of it was at that time, you know, the stem cells you guys use are modified to be able to live in the body without oxygen for potentially up to a year. There are other selling points as well. Staff appeared very friendly from what I'd seen in various interviews, you know, on YouTube and just listening to uh, Scotty Nelson's podcast and, you know, seeing Eddie Bravo and Joe Rogan speak so highly of you guys. I knew, okay, let me take a shot with these guys. What's the worst thing that can happen? It doesn't work. So luckily for me, it did work when I came down within the first day of having the back injections, my sciatica was gone. Now I know the stem cells don't work that quickly, but the carrier liquid creates spacing in the disc. So just that little bit of spacing I got, it took away all that sciatica, which me sitting here in this chair, after about 10 minutes, I'm adjusting and 10 minutes I'm adjusting here. I lived that way for 20 years. So by January, end of January, beginning of February, that's when I noticed uh, my sinuses would start flaring up towards the beginning of the year. I had no issues. Everyone around me was getting sick. And then we had fires going on in Canada and in upstate New York, even in New Jersey, there were some fires going on. So I want to say for a good two week stretch, I mean, the air quality was terrible. And at that point, I started feeling a little itchiness in my sinuses. So I went to the doctor and uh, he said that he was shocked that he had seen me. He's like, where have you been this whole year? I thought I would have seen you at least one or two times. So doc, I had the stem cell injections. I told him, you know, what they had done and what the doctors here told me about how can, you know, the intravenous stem cells impact everything. And he was fascinated by it. So even he wanted some information on CPI. So people always talk about finding the fountain of youth. This is the closest thing you'll find to it.